All right, well, good morning, everyone. My name's Tony with the Mighty Overlander, and this is episode four and day seven of the Gun Barrel Highway. Alright team, so we're back on the Gun Barrel Highway for day seven. So uh, we've got two days left, one, uh, two more camps, and then we get to Yalara. So I'm very much looking forward to that. Um, some of the vision that we've gotten throughout this period has been absolutely phenomenal. And, and I'm, whoa, <laughs> I'm still very much looking forward to uh, that stay at the Yalara. Uh, resort that's going to be absolutely phenomenal I reckon just getting one of these GoPros set up oh. always go left one of the tips with the Gunbarrel Highway if you're going west to east always go left if you're going far. I've reset a lot of my cargo in the back. It wasn't really well set up. Um, and I think more so than anything else, I just need to maybe rejig it a little bit when I get home. Um, I'd like to redo my um, fridge setup. The fridge, the cool light fridge is fantastic. Great fridge, awesome, um, really awesome setup there. The problem has been my fridge slide, not the fridge. Um, it's it's a bit of a how's your father kind of setup, but I never intended to use it as a fridge slide itself. So yeah, we'll see how we go with that. Um, my plan is to probably put the bush tech slide in. So that's been pretty cool. Um, for uh, Scott Park's got that running, so very interested to to kind of see his thoughts at the other end of the trip to see how that that one's gone. Um, yeah, it's really good. We've got some actual, a uh, little bit of cloud in the sky today, which uh, is beautiful. You can see here the, uh, from the side cam, um, some of these clouds are just absolutely phenomenal, the way that they're forming. Wispy. I think you might even see maybe a little bit of rain cloud over in the, over in the south there. Um, maybe, we'll see, I don't know. Um, We'll see how that goes. Um, we've got the camera car just zipped past, and they're off to uh, to get some cool shots of both myself and the convoy coming through. Now we do have the um, the, the forward reconnaissance team that keep uh, zipping ahead earlier in the morning, and they they head usually about an hour to an hour and a half earlier than everyone else, and just kind of scout out the campsites and all that kind of stuff. So that's. Uh, that's pretty cool. Um, make sure that we actually know where the camps are going to be. Alright, well, this is going to be us for the next five hours, guys. So strap yourselves in, enjoy yourself. Hopefully, we'll get some nice vision for you of today's, uh, today's 
today's terrain. It's very, very sparse out there today. Um, it changes quite quickly though. Even within the, the within a couple of hours, you'll see it go from being quite sparse. We had quite a few trees back there. Um, now it's sparse again. Then it, then you get these kind of red sand dunes happening. Uh, then you have these kind of cool rock formations. Yeah, it's quite quite amazing. But one thing that's become quite uh, you know quite standard to track now has been the um, has been the spinifex grass it is absolutely everywhere you also get the, the Stuart P out here and we're gonna try and see if got, I've seen it once it's that beautiful red flower that's about yay long and it's also got that little black P in the middle of it and uh, the Stuart P so hopefully uh, hopefully we can see some of that all right team look I'll uh, see you a little bit further on in the day but uh, we are hooting along um, the camera car and I are trying to get a bit of a break on the main group and yeah uh, we'll see how we go enjoy so as you can see the um, the tongue on the the trucks started to take a bit of a beating hopefully the um, it'll hold until we get to Warburton basically the gun barrels taking another victim and <laughs> and just putting it through absolute hell but the trucks are really holding up quite well and the trailers are holding up well but um, yeah with everything you've got to take I guess it just uh, beats it quite severely so yeah hopefully everything will be good but um, yeah as you can see it's um, quite a quite a destructive track really and uh, you definitely have to be well prepared thank god there's a few guys on here that are pretty clever with all of this stuff okay so we've lost the hitch after uh, another 20 k's and uh, we're just trying to organize a plan so that we can get the trailer recovered and um, keep going on our way which is going to take a day or so <laughs> So what's happening now is the boys have uh, got in touch with some people back in Perth. We're going to charter a plane up to Warburton with some parts and in the meantime we're going to take the, the other service trailer into Warburton and set up the campsite and run back with their hitch um, and tow that other vehicle back in the meantime so that we, uh, we're in the right spot for when the parts arrive we can keep keep on with the journey. So we've got a nice neat plan which we're going to execute now and uh, keep, keep rolling. Righto, so a quick stop to do a quick repair. Well, not really a repair, more of a, an annoyance thing. Um, so just above me are the four spotlights that are on mounted to the front runner roof rack, the little night light, uh, night light spotlights. And the way that they're kind of made is that the mount is separate to the spotlight itself, and the mount had rattled loose, so it was just rattling and rattling and rattling above my head and slowly driving me insane um, so I've tightened down on that unfortunately the only way to tighten it down was to take the whole bloody spotlight off so uh, that took me a couple of minutes to get that done but we're back on the road again haven't held anyone up luckily so that's all right uh, and we're just gonna continue on now we're continuing on to a junction where we're gonna be meeting everybody 
um, and then after that we're going to be um, turning towards Leonora. Alright team, we'll see you further down the track. All right, team, so here we are at campsite number six. We've just stopped at Warburton to grab some fuel, and now we're about 45-ish Ks out of Warburton, grabbing our spot for the night. And uh, look, it's uh, gonna be slim pickings for a good spot out here, actually. There is tire stakes everywhere. Uh, you can just see here the, uh, the camera crew car just trying to pick their way through the stakes and whatnot. So we're just gonna, uh, we haven't set up anything yet. We're just going to start looking for a better campsite before we actually make any decisions where we're going to rest for the night. It's been a pretty eventful day. Um, we've actually had to abandon two of the support trailers uh, that have been getting towed by the um, uh, the Rangers and the F trucks. I think I think it was a Ranger and an F truck. And because of that, unfortunately. Um, I think there's a couple of guys that are actually heading over to uh, camp with the the big trailer from the F truck. So they'll be doing that and then they'll be trying to drag it out in the morning from the tail end of the Gun Barrel Highway and meet us up this way. Um, pretty eventful um, and it looks like the actual hitch of the trailers has shit itself. Um, but all the Jimnies made it through. Uh, the Mighty Overlander has uh, served me very well. Um, I reckon I'll need to pop the air filter out and give it a dust off because she's really uh, working pretty hard at the moment. Um, corrugations wise, yeah, it was rubbish. It was really tough, but it is what it is. Um, and now that we're at the other end, I think we're uh, glad that we're on some slightly smoother roads and, uh, and tracks. After this, however, uh, we move further across the NT border officially tomorrow and uh, for the last night's camp before we get to Yalara. So it's been a very long trip, guys, um, and it's been bloody taxing too. Um, I did a bit of a vlog this morning about my experiences so far and, you know, I'm getting bloody tired. And I keep saying that, but it is, it's tiring. But it's still enjoyable. Uh, we've got some magic... Uh, um, sunset going on tonight because we've got some cloud cover finally as well so it'll be interesting to see how that uh, glows in the, the 
the waning sun. But yeah, we'll see how we go. All right, so we're going to find ourselves a campsite. We haven't really uh, got much to choose from out here. But once we've found a campsite and I've actually put all that together, we'll decide what we're going to do for dinner. Enjoy, guys, and I'll see you over at the campsite. So this is the hitch here that, um, where the bolt snapped here. So a bit of a showstopper when um, you just can't connect the trailer to the back of the truck. So we pulled it off the other truck and we're headed out to refit this and get this other trailer out. Yeah, so we got the boxes arrived on the plane. So we're going to rip that open. Matty, do you want to rip that open for us, mate? We'll just have a look. We got the right gear. Let's make sure we got the right stuff. And then from here, we've got a 150 or 300 kilometre round trip to go pick this trailer up and get it back on track. So, um, looks like. Uh, well, that's going to take us about five or six hours tonight out there, and uh, we'll have a bit of a rest, and then we'll head off with sun up again tomorrow. So probably 10 to 12 hours round trip by the time we get out there and back. See ya. There she is. There she blows. Where's the bolt? I need to get the bolt out, mate. Oh, there she is. Okay. We're going to go in there. No. What? Let's have a closer look. It's all right. That's a. Okay. Is that going in there? It's hitting there. Oh yeah. Okay. What about without it? What's it look like without it? Useless. Okay. No. Nah, hang on. We've got to get it in here somehow. Yeah. So wait. Yeah. We don't have to go all the way. in. we just go to there. She can hang out. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Going a bit further. We don't burn it, can it, mate? We'll pull it out again. How's it? That's fine. Okay. Well, let's pack up the box. We'll put it in the back, all the bolts. Put it all in that, that bag there so we don't lose anything. And then we'll set it up tomorrow. Yeah, morning, just leaving uh, the camp. We're about 50 k's away from uh, away from uh, the trailer. And uh, we pulled up here last night because it just started getting a little bit tough in the dark and we we're getting a bit tired and we didn't want to make a mistake. So uh, we're off again and uh, hopefully the coffee's on when we meet up with the boys again. Beautiful morning, the sun's behind us. We're making pretty good time down the track. Um, it's amazing uh, just going back over your tracks from yesterday, how many things you you actually remember that, that you saw. And uh, the weather out here this morning is absolutely glorious. So uh, I think today's gonna be a pretty good day all round. I can just feel it in my bones. That's a real showstopper, that one. He's out up nice and tight. Matthew? Yeah. Yep. Very good. Is the yeah. sleeve in there, buddy? Yeah, mate. Run the dick up. Yep. Righto, bring it back, big boy. Yep. Look at that. A little bit more. Yep, 
All right, team, so we're back on the road again on the Great Central Highway heading towards Warakuma. Um, the road surface is, look, it's certainly not as bad as the Gun Barrel Highway, but it's still pretty rough. Um, very, very dusty, and there's not a great deal of wind around to blow it away, so we're kind of only holding about 80k an hour here, um, and it's quite difficult to see in front of you. Hence why you've always got to have your headlights on even during the day out in the bush. So next stop is Warakuma, um, and I think we'll grab a little bit more fuel there, and then after that we will then uh, head on to the next campsite, which is going to be the Olgas, and the last campsite of this leg of the journey. Um, after that, we're off to uh, Yalara to finish off the the adventure at Yalara Resort for a couple of nights of R&R, &R, and then we are back on the road again, either this way down the Great Central, or we're going to head further south through South Australia and then back across the Nullarbor. Very much looking forward to that shower at Yulara Resort, I'll tell you what. All right guys, I'll see you further down the road when we get to Warakuma. G'day team, so the convoy's made it all the way through to Warakuna for some much needed fuel and rest. And while we're here, we're checking out the Giles weather station. This weather station does a lot of atmospheric testing, sending two weather balloons up each day and then beaming that information down to Melbourne. And being one of the last Central Australian weather stations, it's super important out here in the middle of Australia. Now, here you've also got two historical landmarks. You've got one of Len Bedell's graders that he used to make the Gun Barrel Highway, which is quite significant for us. And you've also got one of the uh, boosters from the Blue Street rocket, which you can see behind me here, and it's absolutely brilliant. That was launched out of Woomera back in 1964. All right, team, we need to get back out on the road and make some more Ks up today before we hit camp. Uh, Alright guys, so we've been split up from the main group and uh, we've found a little spot down by uh, Creek Bed. Um, they've continued on to the Olgas. We're meeting Ronnie Dahl here. So um, there's not really much I can shoot until we work out what's going on. Um, I might, well, just in case, I might get back to you in the morning and um, we can finish up the, the journey there. But for now, uh, this has been about the only logistical kind of uh, hiccup that we've had the whole time so we'll see how we go uh, we're going to pitch camp for the night um, I might have a quick chat to you after I pitch camp and work out what's going on but we'll see how we go but for now it's getting bloody cold so we're going to go get some wood Well, good morning everybody and uh, through a bit of luck we've managed to find everybody that we lost yesterday so that's absolutely fantastic. The guys are getting all of their tyres aired up because we are back on the blacktop which means it's going to be smooth sailing from here. From here we're going to go over to see the Olgas and then after that it's into Yalara. So the convoy's made it all the way to the Olgas. One last step before we go on to Uluru. And would you look at this? 
absolutely magnificent. This is my first time to the Olgas and I am absolutely blown away by it. We're gonna have a quick walk in and have a look at the sacred area now. What an absolutely amazing place. You can see why it's so sacred for so many thousands of years. This is a natural catchment area for fresh water. And uh, in past times, tribes would camp outside of the Olgas and then make their way into this sacred area. It's absolutely amazing. Okay guys, we're gonna get back on the road. in the car with uh, Dave, the team leader, and I tell you what, mate, looks like we're there. Yeah, we've finally made it, mate. The uh, 22 Jimneys have uh, headed down that street, uh, down the uh, gun barrel unscathed, and we've got uh, Uluru in, the, uh, in our sights. And speaking of in our sights, look at that. There she is. What a great sight that is, mate. Awesome, absolutely awesome, Tony. It's been a great trip. Now, we lost you for a couple of days there, though. What happened? Yeah, we had a, a bit of a support trailer issue where we lost the hitch. Um, so that meant that we had to uh, get some gear flown into Warburton and uh, get back out and uh, fix a trailer about 180 k's back up the gun barrel and turn it around. And then uh, the last couple of days we've been playing catch up but uh, we all ended up in uh, here within an hour of each other in the end, so it was, uh, it was a bit of a mission, but we, uh, we pulled it off. Uh, well, that's uh, all's well that ends well then, I guess, really. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> well, I think there's uh, a few well-deserved showers and a couple of uh, nights at the uh, resort here in Yulara to finish up, and, uh, and a pretty decent group dinner, I reckon. Yeah, everyone's in really high spirits, and uh, we've had a fantastic journey. Cars have been amazing. Um, yeah, absolutely a fantastic trip overall. I was, I was actually pretty surprised. Even though I've got very high confidence in the Jimny, I also know how grueling the gun barrel um, can be. And once we hit that really rough stuff after Gerald and Bore, uh, even I was thinking, oh, you know, we might be in strife here. You know, there might be a breakdown or two, but we, we had, for the Jimnys, there was one number plate that almost came off? Yeah, we lost a number plate. We had a couple of tyre issues, and, yep. and apart from that, a few chipped windscreens. I think we got a cracked windscreen yep. in one, um, but uh, a little bit of a, a steering tie rod went loose on one that we had to tidy up. But other than that, they, you know, they actually, um, you know, ran fantastically and. Um, did the job really, really well. Oh, yeah. fantastic. Awesome, mate. Well, look, we're here. We made it. Mission accomplished. Yeah, mission accomplished, and uh, we just need to choose our next adventure now. I think so. All right, guys, that is us finished here, and uh, we are going to meet the other team over at Uluru, and we're going to get a few uh, pieces from them, but I reckon they've uh, had a pretty good time, and I know I certainly have, and it's good to be able to say that uh, the Gun Barrel Highway has been ticked off the list. Sure has. Awesome. Oh, look at that. That is amazing. All right, team, we'll see you over at the bottom of the uh, of Uluru. <laughs> right, -o, so we've made it to Uluru, mate. What do you reckon? Oh, fantastic. What a trip. We've had everything. We've had undulating ground, we've had muddy, we've had dry, we've had dust. It's just been sensational. I think uh, for me, the cargo management in the back probably needed to change a little bit. How do you reckon with yours? Yeah, we're pretty good actually. We put a bit of thought into it, stacking containers, dust free, dust sealed containers, so, and limited what we carried. So um, always room for improvement, but we think we got it pretty much right. And uh, you enjoyed the Jimny then? Oh, fabulous. Yeah, unbelievable. I couldn't believe how comfortable it was on the trip. And that was my biggest concern. Um, but it stayed dust free in the cabin as well. Awesome, mate. Thanks very much. Good and uh, yeah, it was a great trip. Thank you, Tony. Cheers. All right, team, so we're gonna have a uh, bit of a walk around and chat to a few of the, uh, the legends from the trip. Here's one. So, we made it, actually. Have, 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 the, have the rock in the background. Rock behind us. There we are. So, what do you think of the trip? 
Yeah, it was really good. Yeah, it's uh, exciting. Every day was different. The challenges were different every day, but the uh, the Zuki's dealt with it with a lot of ease and um, surprised me to be honest. That the vehicles went super good in all conditions, and uh, particularly gun barrel. Um, that was uh, that was a whole lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Even though the going was tough, but the cars just handled it so well, um, and everybody is really good in the way we kind of. Um, went along and um, yeah, no, it's been a great, great uh, eight days. Is there anything that you would have changed with your gear set up? Yeah, my sleeping bag was well underdone. I didn't expect it to be as cold as it was. <laughs> and on the last night, my zipper gave way and I uh, I had to um, make some... Bomb, mate. Oh mate, I was freezing, <laughs> freezing. Yeah, yeah, Look, so that was the only thing. Everything else is great. Everything else is really good. I think the only things that I need to change are uh, I, uh, I, I didn't anticipate how much uh, how busy I would be and then subsequently how little time I would have to prepare food and oh, I had yeah, all yeah, these yeah, yeah. glorious meals planned <laughs> Did you? and I didn't cook any of them oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had lamb oh, shanks, micro camping. golden syrup dumplings <laughs> um, I think one night I, made, I managed to make nachos yeah, yeah. right. Um, and that was where we actually got lost from everybody yeah, um, right. that second last night yeah, so, yeah. or that last night Yeah. 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 Well, so, Scotty and I kept that pretty simple we had uh, barbecue every night yeah. and I just had turned them into wraps so yeah, it was yeah. pretty simple but it was getting a bit monotonous in the end and I was glad to see the uh, restaurant food last night. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And uh, especially when, once we got to the, the resort and the restaurant and whatnot, it was pretty good to have that shower, wasn't it? Oh, mate, that was the best shower I've had. No, that's amazing. I think I washed myself three times, <laughs> making up all the showers I didn't have in the last five days. Legendary. Thanks very much, Craig, and it was a great trip. No worries, buddy. Thank you. Cheers. All righty. Who else are we going to talk to now? Oh, Big dog. The mighty underpants. <laughs> the mighty underpants. <laughs> That's what they've been calling me the whole trip. Uh, uh, right? Yeah, well, you know, someone's got to take the title, yeah, well, mate. Hey, it was me. So we've made it uh, here to Uluru. We have. And uh, what do you reckon of the trip so far? Oh, well, not so far, that it's done. Yeah, no, good. No, it's been mint. Yep. Yeah, and how'd you go with your, uh, your Suzuki? Uh, a couple of little hiccups, but it's still going. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, yeah, no, it's going strong. How's your windscreen? Yeah, it's got a couple of cracks. Yeah. Yeah, a couple of cracks. I think that's kind of inevitable on these kinds of roads. Lots of stones flicking up everywhere. I've lost a GoPro. Um, it's completely smashed apart, so uh, that's unfortunate, but it is what it is. Lucky I got all the good footage off of it before it fell apart, so that's okay. Um, is there anything you'd change in your camping setup? Oh, mate, not really. No? It's quite happy with how it all went. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, all good. Awesome. Oh, thanks, mate. It was a great trip. Right, Cheers. Cheers. Da, 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 da. All right, here we go, boys. G'day. How'd we go? Uh, what, last night or today? <laughs> <laughs> a little bit dusty. A bit dusty, 4.30 yeah. finish. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. So, made it to the finish line. Massive trip. We got here to Uluru. Um, happy with the cars? Unbelievable. Yeah. yeah. Anything you'd change? Double the power. Yeah. Turbo charger. Turbo charger. There's actually a supercharger kit coming out of yeah. 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 If, if they were two litre and a five speed of automatic, it'd be twice yeah. the car. But yeah. unbelievable yeah. car to drive. But, but great. Four wheel drive, sensational. Yeah. Yeah, fantastic. Perfect for the gun barrel. That car yeah. is the best car for the gun barrel. Totally. Like, awesome. Yeah. So, yeah, I'd like to thank Suzuki for producing a beautiful motor vehicle yeah. suited nah. to the gun barrel. You're going to be uh, hard pressed to find someone who uh, loves it as much as I do, and uh, even I was a little bit worried when we. We hit some of the hard stuff, and then, but they ate it up, so it was great. Yeah, it was. Fantastic yeah, car. Awesome. Yeah. Thanks, gents, and uh, it was a great trip. Yeah. All right, team, there we go. Um, we are done and dusted for the Jimny Trek 2022 from Perth. And before we go anywhere, we're going to see one more quick hello from the man himself, Dave Howie. How are you? Great, Tony. How are you? Great. So we had a little piece in the car there, um, speaking about our... Um, our trip in and how good it's been. However, one thing I didn't ask you was, is there anything you'd change in your vehicle? Mate, there's not a lot. Um, maybe we could cut 10 litres of water and just make a little bit more space behind the seat. Um, but from a Suzuki point of view, nothing. And from the mods point of view, everything came through a treat. So we really, uh, I mean, you're not going to get uh, much tougher track than the gun barrel to um, put it through its paces and it's just delivered perfectly. Fantastic. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks, Dave. It was a great trip, mate. Thanks, mate. Bye. All right, there you have it, guys. We are all done and dusted for this trip. And uh, you know what? I'm 
absolutely stoked with the way that the cars handle it. Um, I'm stoked with the way that uh, we all pulled up and I'm also very happy that there was no uh, major uh, incidents and all the cars made it through with the no mechanical breakdowns, which is absolutely fantastic. But this is me done. So for episode four of this uh, series of the Gun Barrel Highway from Perth to Yalara, we're here at Uluru and we're all done. Thanks very much for watching. Don't forget, hit that subscribe button. It always helps me out a fair bit. And I can't wait to uh, start putting the next adventure together where uh, who knows it was gonna take me. Uh, I reckon a couple of river systems are back in order. Um, I certainly enjoy my fishing down that way. So I reckon a nice little solo or duo tent camping trip with, with Dusty and the lads. Uh, we'll zip down there, all right? So maybe may back to a smaller group again. All right, team, I'll talk to you soon. And uh, thanks very much for watching.